In this video, we're going to compute the partial derivatives of this function with respect to x and with respect to y. So let's go ahead and do it. So del z, del x. So when you're taking this partial, um, remember the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So you just get e to the x y times the derivative of the inside. Now, when we're computing a partial derivative with respect to x, the y is a constant. So you have to pretend this is a constant. So the derivative of x is 1, so we just get y. Again, when you're taking the partial with respect to x, the y is a constant, the derivative of x is 1, so it's like you get 1 times y, which is y. This is y e to the xy. Let's do the partial with respect to y. So del z, del y. Again, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x, so we get e to the xy. And then chain rule times the derivative of the inside. Well, in this case, the inside function is xy, and the x is a constant now, so the derivative of y is 1, so we just get uh, x, because it's like x times 1. Again, the, y, the x is a constant, so the derivative of y is 1, so we get that. So this is equal to x e to the xy, and that would be the partial derivative of z with respect to y. This is the slope of the function in the x direction. This is the slope of the function in the y direction. I hope this video has been helpful.